once a day, once again, we're starting our day in God's Word. Hasn't this been an exciting couple of months uh, as we have uh, dug deeper into the book of Acts? Uh, and you know, every day I believe it gets more and more exciting uh, as we look at what the men of old and what the Holy Ghost uh, has got to share with us. So today we continue from Acts uh, chapter 13. Uh, and verse 52, and the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Why do we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit? And the word of the Lord was being spread through all of the region. It's for fulfilling the great commission. But it's even more than that, because the word of God tells us in Isaiah chapter 40, it tells us that he strengthens us. But as we come to turn to Isaiah 40, let's look at this. To see, we need to let the Holy Spirit fill us uh, so that everything we do in uh, do is influenced or controlled by the Holy Spirit. In the natural, we are weak. In the natural, we can't fulfill the Great Commission. In the natural, our lives can't change. Listen to this uh, from Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 29. It says, he gives power to the weak. He gives power to the weak and to those who have no might. He increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fail. Let me tell you, religion is an area where we will be weak, where we will want to give up, where we will fail. Religion is why we are seeing our young people turning away from the church. There needs to be supernatural strength. Verse 31 says, but those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall melt up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Listen to me, church. Listen, you know, I am 69 years of age. When I go into Africa or India, you know, in a four-week period, I preach three times a day many times. I preach 50 to 60 times. I was in Uganda and Kenya 18 months ago, and in five weeks, I preached 75 times. You know, that that is an amazing feat. It's not something that I can do, but what happened within me is that the Holy Ghost strengthened me. The Holy Ghost gave me supernatural ability beyond myself. I don't just stand behind a pulpit. I run around the congregation. I move back and forth. You know, I burn up energy, and you can't do that in the natural. You need supernatural supernatural strength. We in our natural state are weak. Thus God through the prophet Isaiah comes forth and gives us this powerful prophetic revelation. How does all this work? How does it work? Let's see from men of old in the Old Testament. Let's go and look at Gideon. And in uh, uh, Judges chapter 6 and verse 4, we read these words. Uh, then they were encamped uh, against them. That's the, that's the, um, the uh, Midians. Uh, 
You know, they, they persecuted Israel. Israel had become weak. Israel were hiding in caves and hiding in the mountains uh, for fear of the enemy. Sometimes we see the church uh, hiding for fear of the enemy. But here we see, uh, then uh, they would encamp against them and destroy the product of, uh, of earth. All of their wheat, all that they had planted, all that they had, the enemy came and destroyed. Israel were at starvation point. There was no way out, but verse 6 says, So Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. And the children of Israel cried out, to God. Hallelujah. We need to cry out to God. Even in our state right now, we need to be crying out to God. You know, the church, not just as an individual, but the church needs to be filled with the Holy Ghost to break this coronavirus, to break the curses over this land. I heard last night some of the things that are being taught in our schools and, and what is happening. It's in the natural alarming but in the spirit we're overcoming hallelujah verse 8 says this that the Lord sent a prophet to the children of Israel you know today the Lord has sent the Holy Ghost to us and he's telling us to be filled to be filled to be filled listen to verse 11 now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the tree uh, which was in Ophana, where which uh, belonged uh, uh, when we go down to, now let's go down to Gideon and Gideon thrashing wheat uh, in uh, the wine press in order to hide it from the Midianites and the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him the Lord is with you almighty man of Valor. The Lord is with you today. Whatever challenge you have before you, the Word of God, Paul tells us, uh, be filled with the Holy Ghost uh, and you will overcome. Be filled with the Holy Ghost uh, and you shall be receive supernatural strength. And even like me, as now an older man, you will mount up like eagles. You will take that mountain. You will talk to that mountain. Talk to that coronavirus. Talk to your financial situation. Talk to your cancer. And command it to go because you have supernatural strength. Go forth this day in the revelation that you have supernatural strength when you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Wow. Wow, I'm just so excited. Uh, I'm finding it hard to stop. I got so much more to share. But there's another day, and that day is tomorrow. So let me challenge you. Don't go outside your doors today until you are filled with the Holy Ghost. And then you will go forth in the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost. Well, bless you. What a joy it's been to be with you again this day. Go forth now in supernatural power.